Hi everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to take a look at how to crop a photo in Photoshop CC and we're going to do it um, for specifically for the banner on top of a Google Classroom uh, window in uh, the browser. Um, so the first thing you're going to have to do is open up the photo in Adobe Photoshop. So that could be tricky, uh, especially if you don't have Photoshop down here at the dock. Uh, if you don't have Photoshop, this PS down here at the dock, um, the best thing to do is to search for it using the spotlights. If you click up here and search for photo, first thing that comes up is booth. But if you go S H, Photoshop should pop up, top hit, there it is, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. Double click on it, it's going to open up that app right there. Once the app is open, it may take a while to open the first time that you open the app because it's loading a lot of things. But you can right click, remember to right click on a Mac, you choose control click, options, and then you're going to go ahead and keep in dock. You want to leave that there so the next time you need it, it'll be right at the bottom of the screen. Um, once you have Photoshop open, you're going to have to get the photo, whatever photo that you want to crop for the um, banner, for the classroom banner, into Photoshop. Now you can see right here I've got an image uh, and uh, it's here on the desktop. I've downloaded it from my email. That's probably the easiest way to get the photo from your camera onto the computer is to email it to yourself and then download it. In this case if I double click on the image notice that it actually opens up preview. That's not the app that we want to use to edit this. So you're going to actually have to click and drag down to the PS and it'll open it up in Photoshop. Now in this case, this image is a vertical image. It doesn't mean that it's not going to be a good photo to use for the banner. It just means that we're gonna to have to crop a lot of the photo out. Now if you look up here, once you have the crop tool selected, the crop tool is one, two, three, four, five tools down on the left. If you click and hold, you can see, there it is, crop tool. Now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna select ratio. And we're going to choose ratio at the top of the screen. And in this case, we've figured out that the banner should be a ratio of 4 to 1. And what that's going to do, it's going to give us a really wide image and not very tall image. And if you click and drag uh, the image around, you can see what part of the photo is going to fit into that uh, banner. In this case, we might select the lily pads and the water because we think that that might be an interesting background. We might click and drag that image up a little bit because we think that the trees is going to be an interesting background. In this case, um, I, I really like the lily pads. So what I'm going to do is, oops, I accidentally just grabbed outside and rotated. So I'm going to hit escape and escape again and escape again. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag to set that crop. And then I can move the image around a little bit. I really like that lily pad right there. So I'm going to make sure that this little lily flower is in the image. Um, if I don't want that green, what I could do is just click and drag and bring it in a little bit more even. So it's really all about the just the water and the lily pads. Once I'm done, you can uh, click this checkbox right here, or you could hit enter on the keyboard, and then we're done. We're done with our crop. That's all we need to do for this. We're going to go file, save as. We want to make sure that we save the file. And everything that we do in this class, we'll go over this later, but you want to name with your last name. Right, so I'll just type in last name, underscore first name, underscore period. In this case, we're period five, underscore assignment. So in this case, I'm going to call it last first P5 banner, and then everything, instead of a space, there's an underscore, so it's a single file name. Change the format to JPEG, and you're going to put your name here, last name and then first name. And then you're going to save it um, in your Google Drive. So you go to Google Drive. You should have a Photography 1 or Photo 1 or Digital Photo 1 um, folder. And then you can save it right there. Last first, P5 banner, and then save. If you're period 1, change it to period 1. If you're period 3, change it to P3. The last thing you're going to do for JPEG options, always save it as maximum quality unless otherwise specified. So in this case, we're going to crank that up to 12. Click OK. We can close that file in Photoshop, minimize Photoshop, and then we're ready to submit it to Google Classroom. And that's how you're going to crop the photo that you're going to submit for the banner, uh, Google Classroom banner. 